Good morning, family. I pray you've had a blessed morning so far, and I pray that the rest of your day is, is awesome as well. Listen, I want to um, encourage you today to do, do what God has called you to do, to be about what our mission is and the reason for our lives, which is um, living to encounter the world for Jesus. And out of the Gospel of John, I had a chance to read through the Gospel this morning, and I noticed two really cool observations. When you get a chance, go back to the Gospel of John and look at John chapter 4, and then also look at John chapter 9. And here's, here's your encouragement for today. Out of both of those chapters, what we find in the life of Jesus is that he, he was always working to engage people for the reason why he was sent from heaven in the first place. He was sent from heaven According to John 10 and verse number 10, he came that we might have life and have it more abundantly. He was offering abundant living. He was offering life that transcends the regular um, uh, weariness and the weary, regular work um, and the, the regular pursuit of wealth. He wanted us to really understand what life was all about. In John chapter 4, he meets a woman sitting by the well. Uh, he was sitting by the well, and she comes to the well, and she's drawing water. She's there hiding in the middle of the day because that's not the time that you draw water. And after talking with her, she begins to open up her heart. She really just wants to be a worshiper. And out of that desire to just be a worshiper, she encounters the Creator. Then in John chapter 9, he runs uh, across a man that's been blind from his birth, and he heals him. That same man later on is testifying and bearing witness of what God has done for him. He talks about a man he didn't even really know. And he says, you know what? Y'all can say what you want to say about him. One thing I know is I was blind, and now I see. Well, a little bit later after that witness, he meets up with the Messiah and encounters him. And from his witness, he then is able to offer God worship. Look at the connections. John 4, a lady who desires to worship meets up with a Messiah. And then later on in that same chapter, she goes into the city to witness for Jesus. In John chapter 9, a man who starts out witnessing about a miracle that had happened in his life ends up meeting the miracle worker and desires to worship him. Thomas, what's the point? Here's the point. We've been called to witness and worship, to worship and witness. So today, live your life in a way where you give God worship and open the door to witness to him. Live your life today where you witness for him and you open the door to give God worship. I want to encourage you, go back and look at those passages, see that combination, live for Jesus, let him use you. Remember, for every one of us, there's another one of us just like us waiting to meet us. Go be useful for God today. God bless you, family. Amen.